While the royal wedding may have wrapped up this morning, but one Centerville restaurant kept the celebration going all afternoon. Courtney Jacobazzi takes us to the British pantry, where people took a bite into British culture. Out of her hands, she left that. <laughs> The ladies at the British Pantry in Centerville set up to celebrate the royal newlyweds. It's just magical. It is like a fairy tale. A fairy tale that people wanted a piece of, reserving every table in the restaurant for the morning. But most came for a piece of a very special cake. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to taste the cake. Um, I don't know what to expect, but it sounds wonderfully refreshing. I think we saw the interview with, with Jan and we were, we were wanting to see if we could get a piece. Cambridge native Lizzie Douglas says this cake breaks tradition for a typical royal wedding. Traditional wedding cake is usually a fruit cake and uh, quite a heavy fruit cake and it's covered with marzipan and then iced with royal icing. But says she's not surprised. And of course Prince Harry being the um, party goer he is, is a little bit of a rebel so he's doing things perfectly right but a little bit different. But different is what people were dying to try. I'm hoping it'll be just as delicious as, as we could imagine. And it was no shock that this familiar face came through to give her review. What are you anticipating about this cake? I think it's going to be delicious. It's definitely a change for the monarchy getting away from the fruit cake and coming to doing that lemon type of buttercream type of cake. So when I knew we had it locally or a rendition of that, I had to try it. As people came together to celebrate the union of the newest royal couple in Centerville. Nobody does it quite like the English, I must admit. Courtney Jacobazzi, 13 WMAZ News. Yeah, good to see Ari Von Thomas in that story. Now, the British Pantry is open Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. They're located at 100 North Houston Lake Boulevard in Centerville.